evening, Mr. Howard Foster from Doncaster. Sponsored by United Carpets and promoted by Hennessy Sports, this is a contest of 12 three-minute rounds to decide the Commonwealth Super Middleweight Championship. Between and introducing the boxers, and uh, firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the white trunks uh, and hails from South Africa. He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pound and two ounces. He holds a 26 fight professional record, 19 wins, seven wins coming by way of knockout with four losses and three draws. He's a former African champion and comes to the ring tonight as the challenger for the title. Please welcome Ruben Grenoble. And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, trimmed with silver. He scaled a 12, 11 stone, a 12 and three quarter pounds. He comes to the ring with a perfect professional record. 16 big wins from 16 big contests. 12 wins coming by way of knockout. He's the current British and Commonwealth Super Middleweight Champion. Presenting and introducing Nottingham's very own Carl will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Come on. Carl. Carl, come on. Spoke to you both in the dressing room. You both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads. Good luck to you both. Good luck, lads. So, with our excellent crop of super middleweights, Joe Calzaghi, Robin Reed, and Brian McGee, all 30 plus now, a fabulous opportunity for Nottingham's Carl Froch to make a real mark on the 12 stone scene. Fourth defense of the Commonwealth title here for Froch, returning after hand surgery, right hand that is, and he meets the hardened ring campaigner Ruben. Grunewald, who's really up for this, Jim, can he possibly cause the upset? Well, it wouldn't be a big shot, keeping in mind he's coming up in a division. <coughs> he's not a, really a puncher in the first place, he's only had a couple of fights in the last three years. It's a huge ask for him, he's not expected to win here. Frotch is expected to win, but I think it's the manner of victory. If he struggles with Grunewald, then we'll be asking big questions, if he's convincing, then he's ready to move on. He's looking a little bit casual and lazy and the lack of concentration in the opening round here. I think he's putting a little show on for his fans. As though he's uh, treating Grunwald with contempt. Don't want to be doing that. An arrogant swagger inside the ring. Relaxed attitude sometimes Froch has, but talent aplenty. He says he will be the first man to stop the South African based in Kent. I mean, you do have to admire confidence, but uh, just the word you used, a little bit of arrogance there in the opening minute, maybe just a little, as I say, a little show for the fans, maybe. He's looking much more business-like already. Huge physical advantage for Karl Froch. Grunewald has mainly worked at middleweight best win on paper being against Anthony Farnell but that was some years ago and he uh, rise to the occasion here and take out Froch in hostile territory so tough well Grun Paul's trying to make an early impression but Froch just seems to look so much bigger physically doesn't he It looks huge, towering over Grunewald, about three or four inches taller, with that big reach, but a good right hand from Grunewald. And Froch just stunned momentarily. Froch always carries his left hand far too low. 
and he was caught out there. It's his casual approach. I think normally if he was thinking was a bit sharper, he would have pulled away from that punch. That's a good left hook from Crotch. And a right hand from Grunewald. He's not uh, overroared here. One little bit. He's always been game and strong and committed. And this is a last-ditch effort from Grunewald, so you know he's going to go for it. Interesting opener. From Sky Sports, one more major world fight this year. Sunday, Jermaine Taylor and Bernard Hopkins meet again for the undisputed world middleweight title. 8.30 a.m. Sky Sports 2, with repeats at 1 on Sky Sports 1 and at 5 on Sky Sports 3 on Sunday. Chance to assess the progress of Carl the Cobra Frotch in fight number 17, the 28-year-old born and uh, raised here in Nottingham up against uh, Ruben Grunewald who comes from Brackban in South Africa but he's been largely based in Britain of late although hasn't managed to get big fights and uh, is really keyed up for this they've sparred together a few years ago but that was when Frotch was an amateur and he's a hot favourite to retain his Commonwealth belt tonight. I just don't think uh, Carl Frost has turned up for work yet. OK, he's letting some punches go now, but he's so casual in his approach. Not bothered about his defence. He has to look as though he feels that he can end this at any time, and he's just putting a little show on for the fans. I'd like to see him a bit more serious in his approach here. Grunwald deserves respect. He's a good, solid pro, OK, underdog, but he deserves respect. Flicking out the jab, Carl Frotch, who says the build-up has gone excellently and that the uh, right hand is fully repaired after the ruptured extensor hood. Surgery done on it. He said that uh, he fought Matthew Barney with problems, but it's fine tonight. He's not short of self-confidence, is he? No, he's full of it, quite the opposite. But uh, when your mind's not properly on the job, your reflexes are not quite so sharp, but he's been caught with some cuffing punches, nothing to worry about. I mean, he, he probably feels that Grunwald doesn't have anything and he's really to, to worry about. But I'd like to see him more business-like, instead of flicking with that jab, he does have an excellent jab. Why is he not? See, he's taking cuffs to, to the head there, but... Frankly, he doesn't have to be taking. One got through there from Frotch, followed by a nice-looking jab. They feel that Grunewald is not slick enough to be able to deal with him. He's only stopped seven of his opponents, Grunewald, too. Not a lot going for him. Left hook from Frotch. No, much more purpose than that fight. That was a quality shot. Expect to see some more of those. Just settling after a bit of a lackadaisical start, Carl Frotch. This is better, more purposeful, as he gets behind the jab. And there's already a look of distress on the face of Grunewald. Frotch warming up. 